time position velocity. How to conclude from the table of values whether the object is moving with a constant velocity or speeding up or slowing down? Well, that's a very interesting question and let's try to analyze it. So what is velocity after all? So velocity is rate of change of position with time, right? So it is, I can write change in position, which is change is written in this delta d. Change in position is change in distance over change in time, right? So let me write full. Change in distance over change in time, right? Change in time. So that is what the velocity is. Now if the change in distance for a fixed change in time is constant, then the velocity is constant. And if the change in distance is increasing with the fixed change in time, then the velocity is increasing, right? Therefore, we'll say that the object is speeding up. And if the change in distance is lesser and lesser in each successive similar change in time, then the velocity is decreasing and we say that the object is slowing down, right? So let me make three different tables to show this. So I'll make table one here, table two, and table three. Now in these tables, these are time and position tables, right? So we'll have time and position. Now let's say the time, starting time is zero, one, two, three, right? And let's say that the position is changing at a constant rate. That means every unit of time it is changing. Let us say we start with 20. It is changing by 5 units. So 25, 30, 35, and so on. So here, as you can see, the velocity is constant. Is that okay? So this ref refers to constant velocity. Correct? Now, let me give you another example where it is speeding up. Let's say the time and position. And let's say the time is 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. But the position changes at a faster rate. That means initially, let's say it's 20. So it goes to 21 in the first unit. Then instead of going to 22, it becomes 23, right? And then it changes by, not by 2, but let's say by 3, right? So it becomes 26. So here we will say it is speeding up, correct? You can see that the difference here, if you calculate the successive difference, 25 minus 20 is 5. 30 minus 25 is 5. So the change is of 5 units, correct? Now in such case, the second case, we have change of one unit first and then two and then three right so it is speeding up every unit of time the change in distance is increasing correct since it is increasing we will say that the velocity is increasing with every unit of time and so the object is speeding up Now let's take an example where it is slowing down. So slowing down means that this increase is lesser and lesser. So let's say a similar time, okay, and let's say the, the object starts with position 20. Initially, it increases to 25 by 5 units, right? There is an increase. Now next time, it doesn't increase by 5, it is not 30 but it is 29, so increases by 4 units, right? And then, not by 4, but by 3, for example, right? So it is 26, right? So in such cases, we observe that change in position is by lesser and lesser units, right? And therefore, slope is going to be lesser and lesser. So here, rise is 5, here, rise is 4, and here, rise is 3, right? So this is also called first difference, right? So we find that the first difference is decreasing. If the first difference is decreasing, then 
the object is slowing down, right? Slowing down. So that is one way of showing the data, right? Speeding up and slowing down, we can also show like this. So I'm giving you alternate data for this. That is. So I'll again make a table showing time and position, right? We can always plot it on a graph and see its characteristics. Now, let's say that we are considering positions of at equal change. For example, if the position is changing from 20 to 25 to 30 to 35, then how much time does it take for this increase? Right? If initially we start with zero, let's say we start with <clears throat> let's say we start with zero and then we say well it goes to 25 in let's say five minutes right so in five minutes position changes by five units but next five units changes in just four units not five let's say this is nine do you understand so in lesser time it moves the same distance that means the object is speeding up and here also if we put instead of this as 12 right so let's say 10 for example so just one unit it made to 35 so what we are seeing from this data is that the object increases by the same unit but it takes lesser time to increase right so that is speeding up got it I hope you understand that. Now in slowing down, let's consider a similar position and we say well for an increase of 5 units, the object takes more and more time. So for first 5 minutes, let's say for first 5 units of increase in position, the object takes let's say 5 minutes and then it takes more time. That is it is not taking 5 but it is going up by 10 for example let's say this is 15 and then it is not 10 but 20 for example and 35 that means the object is slowing down right so if you plot this kind of a graph object slowing down then you'll get kind of a curve which is kind of like this a speeding up if you plot this data this or that then you get a graph like this right and for a constant velocity this change is going to be same and you'll get a graph which would be a straight line, right? So from the data, we can analyze and figure out whether the object is speeding up, slowing down, or moving at a constant velocity. So we basically see change in position with time. If the change in position with same interval of time is same, then the object is going at a constant velocity. But if change in position is increasing for same interval of time then the velocity is increasing and if the change in position is decreasing with same unit of time then the object is slowing down right so we'll have a few exercises on this and then we'll see if you really understood the concept thank you and all the best